Sunday, Black Friday, Great Thursday, even though I still don't know what Great Thursday is now, it's the most important day uh, today. Small Business Saturday, I couldn't forget about that, but now it is Giving Tuesday, and I want to make sure that Baltimore is the most generous city in the entire country, and our goal is to raise $5 million. And I'm really proud of the partners we have every year. This is the second year we've had uh, more and more partners on board, including United Way and Constellation and so many more uh, that are helping us reach our goal. What are some of the specific activities that are taking place to reach that goal? So, we have Joe Square Pizza right behind me that is giving a, a portion of the proceeds to the Baltimore Gives More pizza to our effort. We have people in the, the Charmery in Hamden is selling pizza. We have some uh, some gyms that have giving jars out. There's so many opportunities all over the city to participate. I wish I had the whole list in front of me, but uh, if you do go on our website, you can find out about all the different shops that are participating. BeMoreGivesMore.com What kind of pizza are you going to make? It is called a Be More Gives More Pizza. I hope there's meat on it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, today's just one day, but this is something that you want to extend and can build on Baltimore's reputation. What we learned today is uh, Americans in the whole world, Americans are the most generous people. And I want to make sure out of uh, the country, Baltimore is the most generous city. We know our city employees are very generous. Uh, when the United Way tallies up uh, the generosity of employees uh, throughout their system, Baltimore city employees are very uh, generous. And I want to make sure that we're tapping into that generous spirit of all of Baltimore's residents, whether you live in Baltimore, if you work in Baltimore, you can give, and Giving Tuesday is an opportunity to give back. You know, in so many ways, we say that you know, the holiday season is about giving, not receiving, and this is a way that we can do it. There's so many uh, people that are in need, so many great programs that need assistance, and I think it's a way for us uh, to be reminded of those that are less fortunate and to get that holiday spirit going. Do you have a pulse on the nonprofit organizations in the city to see if fundraising has recovered from the recession? I don't think there's anyone that would say it's recovered. I think it is a, a slow uh, recovery, and that's why it's so important to shine a light on uh, these events like Giving Tuesday. Uh, everyone, even even if the uh, we say this year uh, the the fundraising was the same as last year, you still have years uh, since 2008 that uh, the pace of giving was slow because of the Great Recession. So we have a lot of ground to make up on, and we still know that there are a lot of families that are uh, are still hurting. They, they are not uh, fully recovered uh, from the Great Recession. So it is, it's time for Baltimoreans and those who work in Baltimore, play in Baltimore, to get that uh, good Baltimore spirit at work and to help our neighbors. The fact that you have more businesses and nonprofits participating this year, what does that kind of symbolize as far as the giving attitude in Baltimore? Baltimore is a home of champions, and we're champion givers too, and the business community has really stepped up to the plate this year. I'm very, very proud of the additional businesses that are that are on board, and we see it all throughout the year. So many different businesses, they partner with our schools, with our rec centers, uh, with, with our Habitat for Humanity, with our, our uh, Power and Dirt initiative to create more green space. People want to give back, and Giving Tuesday is a, a great way for them to do that. Mayor, last week a senior BGF, uh, fish, uh, not official, uh, member was charged and he apparently was a safe streets worker. I understand that last time there was allegations of this kind of connection that you froze safe streets in order to review. Are, are, have you heard about this? Do you want to take any action? Now? There certainly won't be freezing of safe streets. We've, we've had a lot of progress with safe streets and I'm looking forward to another good year of, of expansion. We, we know that safe streets work. Uh, when individuals outreach workers um, that have credibility interrupt the cycle of violence. It is a way for us, uh, and not just us, I mean the Safe Streets model is alive and well in many uh, cities across the country and I'm, I'm looking forward to that good work continuing. Did We're not going to let one one uh, person destroy that progress. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.